morning, you're up with Creme. Breaking news, a dive team is actively searching for a car on the Spokane River. It's good to have you here with us. I'm Tim Pham. And I'm Dana Marie McNichol. We're going to get straight to breaking news this morning. Parts of East Upriver Drive are now closed and multiple agencies are on scene. That's right. So let's break down where it is right now. Agencies are on the scene at East Upriver Drive, the East Frederick Avenue and East Frederick Avenue. They were called there just after three o'clock this morning. We do have our Nicole Hernandez. She's there live right now with the latest. Nicole, what can you tell us about any updates you've received? Yeah, so right now I'm actually on Upriver Drive and it's right now completely closed in both directions at between Havana and Argonne. Sorry, what was that? Oh, we actually just, uh, our photographer Nate just spoke with police. He just was able to confirm with us right now that there was a car that is in the river here. So I want to actually have Nate show you exactly where that is. So we just had a dive team come out of the river just a few minutes ago. They were swimming around this general area. You can see that orange marker in the water. That's where they marked. So again, police just confirmed with us right now that there is a car in the river. Assuming underneath that marker uh, or in that general area, that's where that dive team was uh, swimming around and searching just about 10, 20 minutes ago. About 10 minutes ago is when that team came out of the water. The boat that was in the water also uh, sped down the river. They are, they're going to open up the road and just a tow truck is going to take a little while to get here. All right, and I just got another update. They're going to open the road um, for right here. You can see they're taking that crime uh, taint crime crime scene tape down right now. They're going to have the tow truck come in. Um, so that's all information that we're just getting by the minute here right now. They're taking on this crime scene tape. The road will open back up. They're going to get a tow truck in here to get the car out of the river. We've seen several uh, sheriff's office cars leave the scene. Uh, the boat with the dive team also left the scene as well. So it seems like things are starting to wrap up here. But of course, we still have more questions for police how this happened. Um, we don't know if anyone uh, was in the, uh, you know, in the car or, or uh, if anyone was hurt in this incident. So we will definitely ask questions as soon as we uh, get the opportunity to do that. But we'll make sure to keep you updated as soon as we get those answers. And Nicole, one more time, can you explain how officials there knew that there was a car in the water in the first place? Yeah, so there was a witness who actually reported that they uh, thought that a car went into the river. So they came out here, closed off the road, sent the dive team in, and that's when they ended up finding that. All right, Nicole, thanks so much. As Nicole said, a tow truck is on the way, and we'll, of course, keep you updated throughout the morning right here on Up With Creme and on Creme.com.